Hola, Interneto! This Friday I thought I would get ahead of the game and give you guys my August favorites, because it's August 29th, August is over, all y'all going back to school, or if you're like an adult, you've been just, you know, working, working the summer away, sweating in an office. So let's not waste your time, let's get started! First item on my August favorites is going to be my Real Techniques brushes. Ooh, that's the hair, that's gross. Oh, oh, and there's another one there. Oh, ew, gross. I bought these brushes probably, I wanna say in like April or May, and I used them a little bit, but I've been using particularly this one a lot. This is the buffing brush, um, and I use it for uh, uh, like tinted moisturizer, found like powder foundation, and I have even used it for blush at one point in time, but it put it on a little heavy. I don't know if it was brush or user air, but either way, I try to stick to it with tinted moisturizer and powder foundation, so that's that. And then I really love their contour brush. I love to use this for bronzer and blush. I use it for both. And then this is the pointed foundation brush, but I... I actually tried today to use it with my tinted moisturizer and I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna keep using it for what I use it for, which is like um like spot touch-ups. So if you have a little like a little pimple right there, you just with a little powder foundation, just pat it on, pat it on, rub it in, and it's good. Or like under eye uh, concealing, different type of stuff like that. That's what I like to use these kinds of brushes for. My second favorite, and I have talked about this in other beauty videos, favorites videos, whatever, is my Stila Tinted Moisturizer in the color Medium. Um, I can use this right now because it matches my coloring, so that's good, so I don't have like a big orange line going on right there, which is nice. Um, but it doesn't break me out, it's not super oily, it feels too, even though it is tinted, it like melts into the skin nicely, doesn't leave an oily residue or anything like that. It is a little bit dewy and it is shimmery, that's why I like to powder it down a little bit, I prefer more of a matte face. But for not breaking me out, and it's relatively good priced, it's like good $20 I think for a tube, and this tube I've had since last year. So yeah. Um, my third... <laughs> Favorite this month is the, ooh, that should probably, this is to be sold at Asshole Store. You're gonna ruin the fucking packaging because you're a dick. Ooh, I hate when that happens. I hate when stores put stupid little fucking stickers on their shit for no fucking reason, and then it makes the top all nasty. Well, anyway, this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, and I am super pumped about this. I'm actually wearing it today. It's very luminous and beautiful, and it's in this beautiful, ugh, corally color, I guess you could say. I guess I would call that a coral. I would call that a coral. And then uh, it comes with this really not-so-awesome brush that I tried to use when I first bought it, and I was like, no, it was on way too heavy. And then the mirror, and hold on. So, yeah, there's that. So my next beauty favorite, I'm actually gonna do these in order. I'm gonna talk about some Lush products because everyone knows how much the Shan loves Lush. I love it. This is their Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. Um, I use it to set makeup as a toner when I wash my face, just if I'm a little sweaty, just, oh, actually I was a little sweaty. Whew, so just, it cools you right down. It's got like aloe vera, some salt water, different types of oils. Just, it's real good for you. It's natural. And it was not that expensive. I think this size bottle is $20, $21, something like that. Not too bad. My very favorite Lush product of this month, and I am so happy that the people at my Lush are so fucking well informed and so willing to help a sister at any point. I went in there with a face full of face demons. My face was just having a war of a proportion. The left cheek and right cheek were going at it and it was, it was bad. It was bad. There were many casualties. So the girl hooked me up. She was like, oh girl, you gotta try this Catastrophe Cosmetic face mask. It'll be great for you. It's only $10 too. It looks as such. Hopefully that's focusing, because my camera sucks at focusing. Anyway, so it's just a face mask. You gotta keep it in the fridge. So it's nice and cool when it goes in your face, which is awesome for summer, because I really I would be coming from Monte and be like, Ugh! So you just scoop it out, rub it on your face, let it get kind of crispy, and then rinse it off, and your baby, your face feels like baby asses. All the baby asses in this little tin. Love it, we'll repurchase. All right, so we're almost done here. We are almost done. All right, 
My number six favorite item um, this month has been my 252 palette by Coastal Sense. I have been in love with this thing. I can't even explain to you how much I use it. I have used it, literally, if you look at it, every color has been touched pretty much. I mean, all of these have been touched. These have been all fucking touched. I just used all of these today. And then there's, but it's not just one palette. It's another one. And then just wait, there's another one. How did they do it? How did they do it? I purchased it for like, I got it on sale. I got it for like $11.97. And I think with shipping and everything, it was like 17 bucks. Regularly, these are like $24.99. So still not too fucking terrible for 252 dime size colors. You can do a lot with it. I've been loving it. I enjoy it very much. The last item I want to talk about for my August favorites, because I don't know if y'all have the same issue, but I got a lot of these flyaways up here on the top of my head. They just have a mind and destiny of their own, and they just fly off into magic land. So what I've been doing, I bought this actually as a heat protectant for my hair, because I thought I was going to be using my Instyler a lot more than I have with this haircut. So I bought this uh, Garnier Fruity Style Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist that uh, has argan oil in it, and it's, it's a 48 hour straight finish heat protect and stays smooth and shiny. So I'm thinking this is probably for curly hair. What I like to do is just spritz a little on my hands, rub them together, and do one of these over my parts to keep my flyaways down. Yeah, that's what I like to do with it. So for that purpose, it does a grand fucking job. And yeah, that's all my beauty favorites for you guys uh, for this month. If you liked it, do yourself a favor and click the like button and click my face to subscribe to my channel because I put on new videos every Friday. And then click over here to see what happened last week. It was a thing that I never remember. So I will see you fuckers later. Goodbye.